Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, it's Wednesday morning and we are loading the camper or hitching the camper up to the truck. We have spent the last five days here in uh, Rhode Island, New England area. And today we are headed off to New York City. The drive today is gonna be about five hours long. We're gonna take our time. There's gonna be a lot of traffic, but we're looking forward to this part of the trip. What's up? Well, Jeff and I have finally arrived at the RV park here on the New Jersey. I don't know how to say it, but that is New York City, downtown Manhattan area, lower Manhattan. And this is New Jersey. And um, so the RV park's on the New Jersey side. I literally am like uh, a 15 minute walk from here. And um, as you can see, there is a lot of activity going on in the city and we love New York City. We've been here several times and we are so happy that we're here. So yeah, this is such a convenient um, place to go. And as you can see, I don't know, um, you may be able to see them in this, in this video or not, but there is the Statue of Liberty sitting right there in the background. And the RV park is just right over there. The RV park is a large parking lot pretty much. And there's a marina attached to it. The really only special thing about it is the fact that it is this close to uh, Manhattan. There's two ways to get to the Manhattan. Uh, you can do it by ferry, which is this route right here. And then also a ferry leaves closer to the RV park. You walk outside the gate and the ferry will take you there. And the, or you can walk five blocks down and uh, catch the path, which will take you all the way up to 33rd Street. Really easy to get into Manhattan area. Now the problem is, is we have two dogs and uh, they're not allowed on the subway unless they're in a carrier which we don't want to do because we don't want to carry carriers all over the city we're gonna have to find another form of transportation to do that with so uh, kind of an obstacle we did not anticipate we thought maybe dogs the dogs would be allowed on the subway but without having the carriers but that's just not the case so later on that evening jeff and i decided to head towards times square As we came out of the subway station, you can see the lights from blocks away. Lots of people are drawn to this area. The big screens, all the lights, all the people, all the entertainment. It really is one of the best places to be as the night falls on New York City. Zoe and Ajax seems to be enjoying themselves. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit stressful for them with uh, all the noise and traffic and people, but I think um, they'll get a little used to it, but we're thinking tomorrow we're not gonna take them with us into the city. Zoe. Just because we're so limited. And it is, it is extremely costly to bring them here from the New Jersey side, simply because we're not wanting to drive across. And number two, um, in order to take public transportation, they need to be in uh, dog carriers. So our only option was to take an Uber, which was like $36 to get here. We're taking them today so that they can experience New York City. Um, but tomorrow we, we definitely won't be. While visiting New York City, you have to visit Central Park. Central Park is the city's retreat away from the loud, very busy city. The green grass, the gardens, the trees, the fountains, and the amphitheater all create a very relaxing environment. It's a great place to take your dogs for a walk, to ride your bike, to rollerblade or roller skate, and to run or jog. There's lots of room to get together with your family and friends. And if you want to have a romantic picnic, you can do that as well and not be bothered by anyone. 
horse-drawn carriages are available to rent for a nice little ride through the park. So kick back and relax because this is the place to do it. While in the city, we decided to head over to the 9-11 Memorial. The last time we were here, a lot of the construction was still going on. This area here wasn't even built yet, so it was nice to see it all completed. Every time we come here, I just can't help but think about all the pain and suffering that happened here and the amount of lives that were lost right on the spot that you're walking on. You get this feeling of being sad and then angry about what happened. But ultimately, this place was created so that people can remember what happened back then. If you haven't been here, it's definitely a place to stop by and remember. Friday, November 3rd, and we are up early. The sun is starting to come up, but we are up really, really early this morning because anytime, Je anytime Jeff and I are in New York City, we like going to the, the Today Show, and we like to get there early, so that's what we're doing. Headed over to the Today Show NBC. So Jeff and I are absolute fans of the Today Show. And while we're in the city, we definitely make a stop by Rockefeller Center to see the filming. We love how the studio allows the crowd to really engage the crew. And on the other hand, the crew comes out and they interact with the crowd, giving hugs, doing selfies, and uh, really just interacting and, and having a good time with the audience. The audience really gets into it as well. We get excited because we see these people every day on TV, but now that we're here, we actually get to see them live. So the crowd cheers, they make posters, and uh, you know they scream, they yell, they hoot, they holler, whatever. But it just really is a fun event. During their shows, they invite actors or famous people to come in and speak to them. So keep an eye out. You never know who's going to be on the show that day. As the camera flies around the crowd, you have a really high chance of being on TV. So make sure you record the show that day because you might see yourself on it. So this was our trip to New York City. We spent about two and a half days here. And really, that's just not enough time to see the whole city. Most of the time we're spent walking through the neighborhoods of New York City, seeing places like Chelsea and the Chelsea Market and of course Chinatown. I often wondered what it would be like to live here, but for now, visiting New York City will have to do, and this will not be our last time here. So after leaving New York City, we headed down to Washington, D.C. 
From this point on, the weather really started to become an issue, really putting a hamper on our experience of the places we were traveling to. But we had no choice but to make the best of it. So up next, it's Washington, D.C., Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and then down to Charleston, South Carolina. 